It's our final show of 2014, The Screen Team, on today's talk, 930 KWOC and 93.3 FM. We want to thank our sponsors once again who have been supporting The Screen Team all year. Whitworth Gift Chest Jewelers, where Walmart is next door to us. 33 Productions and Popper Bluff Drywall, 714-3127. The number one movie in America is The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies. It's out this weekend. We are talking about it here on uh, the screen team. Laura, you're a huge fan of the Lord of the Rings tr- trilogy and also the Hobbit trilogy. This is the last one hopefully they'll ever make. Yes. <laughs> um, so what are your thoughts on the movie? Well, um, of the three Hobbit movies, I guess it, it's my least favorite. Mm-hmm. Um, it it was forever long, and I I just didn't get caught up in the characters in it like I did in the first ones. So let me ask you something. Um, all the Lord of the Rings are are long. All of the Hobbits are long. What was it about this movie that you didn't really buy into the characters, and the length was was bothering you more? I just think it, it, it the 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 relationships weren't as personal in this movie. Right. Like it was more just like an, an a broad. It's almost like well, we're finishing the Hobbit series. Like it was just like well, we have to finish what we started. I don't know. I just didn't the like the. Um, I wanted to see like the um, Tariel, the dwarf princess or whatever she is. Mm-hmm. I wanted to see the, the relationship with her and. The, the one dwarf that gets injured, Keeley. Mm-hmm. I wanted to see more come from that. And, like, it just, pfft, it just, nothing, there was not much about it. It's like they introduced yeah. it, but they didn't really give any extra on it in the next movie. And, um, they didn't have time for that. They had yeah. to do all those fights. Yeah. There were, I mean, there was a lot of, I mean, a lot of fighting, but there was a lot of in between the fighting, too. You know, it was like, well, these people are squabbling, these people, and they're going to talk about fighting over here. It was a lot of preparing to fight, right. and then there was a fight at the end. So, My biggest issue with these, these last three films is, I guess, um, quantity over, over quality. Um, because the Hobbit books, from what I understand and what you've told me, is they're not that, they're not that big, correct? Um, and they originally intended to make two films out of, the, uh, out of those books. But then they decided to extend it and make a, a third movie. Mm-hmm. So it felt to me like they just wanted to add more stuff and add more stuff and add more stuff. And the quality of those films diminished because they kept adding more stuff that really didn't need to be added into these movies. I, I, I believe in the first movie could have been condensed by 30 or 40 minutes. The same thing with Smog, mm-hmm. And the same thing with this one. Even though this movie is like the shortest out of all of the... Mm-hmm. Lord of the Rings films, it still was way too long. There was so, still too much BS in uh, I agree. <laughs> in this film. Like, for example, the uh, I don't know what his name was. He was like the the crooked guy out of the uh, out of the human pack. Yeah, they 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 kept uh, pushing that joke that he was you know uh, you know trying to steal from him and a pansy. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there was they, they kept pushing this uh, ongoing joke with him and and how he was weak and cowardly we understand that you know and get rid of i just want him to slaughter him off and be done with it exactly but they didn't do that and they didn't even have a finishing storyline to what happened to him no and i can't who was the leader of the of the human army after the after bard is that his name bard bard the dragon slayer yeah the dragon slayer they never said what did they say what happened to him after everything happened the the last thing we see of bard is um Oh, I love he's, my children. Is yeah, basically this, it, right? He says, "Why are you doing? Why do you care?" Because he's talking to the little pansy guy. Yeah, and he's like, "Why do you care?" Because he's stealing all this gold and trying to get away. Right. And he's like, "Why do you? You know?" And he just look, turns and points to his. He's like, "This is why." Yeah. You know? And I wanted to see. I like that character. I wanted to see what what happened to him. I understand he's not one of the main focuses of uh, of this trilogy, but I still wanted to see what happened to him. And I don't feel. I don't feel like they they closed that door with him because they added more fighting and this battle and that battle and it was just like i said my biggest issue was uh quantity over quality they should have had more more quality in it and less nonsense yeah sabrina well i agree i was tired before the movie ever even started but that i don't think has to do anything with the movie (laughs) right i mean you know you get the previews you get the previews um but i there was just so much of the same thing over and over again. 
I, I like the movies and I like the stories. I love the stories. Yeah. But I think that you're right, Chris. They just got carried away with the production. Oh, we've got to do it bigger and longer and better and and add more CGI and and it was just like just give me some good character development and yes. and let me fall in love with a couple of characters and quit throwing so many of them at me and then because there was give some- me a break from the the vast scenery they wanted these great big visuals of mm-hmm. all these armies and then 30 minutes of fighting and i was just wore out yeah well the thing the 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 hobbit movies are centered around bilbo he's the hobbit right. i mean and he's supposed to be but in this movie he's not the center character i mean there is really in in my opinion they really didn't focus on any center character it was just jumping back and forth from all those different stories mm-hmm. and um the one thing they did do was they I mean, The Hobbit is a prequel to The Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. So they do kind of lead you into what is is about to happen at the end of the movie. Like, what is going to happen in the beginning of The Lord of the Rings. And we demanded that. Yeah. We had to have that. But it was very, very brief. And if you you were exhausted from the rest of the movie, you might have missed it. Because it was like (laughs) one, two sentences, and that was it. Yeah, they they spoke for like... Yeah, it literally took like 30 seconds for that scene. And then... It wasn't my favorite. And I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan, but I mean, I can quote all three of the first three movies basically verbatim, but this one I probably won't even watch again because it, it was just didn't hold my attention that well. So out of the new trilogy, which one is your favorite? Um, Hobbit, Smog, or Five Armies? Probably the second one. Yeah, me too. Smog. Uh, only because I, li- I thought that character was, uh, Smog, I thought was incredibly cool. He was well the the way he was animated or CGI or whatever that was, is it was, was yeah. awesome yes it was <laughs> and he just the voice character who did his voice uh, Benedict Cumberbatch is his name he does Sherlock on BBC okay well I knew like I was I was just wondering about that because I saw his name on the screen but I didn't know who that was yeah. but it's it's very it just fits the look that they gave the voice so yes. it's perfect. Yeah, uh, definitely uh, a great role. I wanted to see more in him, but uh, he's only like in the first 10, 15 minutes of this uh, of this third movie. But yeah, Smog is probably my my favorite uh, out of the uh, out of the new series. So um, obviously, the the Lord of the Rings uh, and Hobbit books are are all already told. But you got to think that somewhere along the line, they're going to make up some sort of spin off and yeah. and keep this money train going. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but if you get a chance, uh, check it out. It's about two and a half hours. It is called The Hobbit, The Battle of Five Armies. And that's going to do it for 2014 for the screen team. I want to thank all the members of the screen team for uh, a great uh, 2014. We appreciate each and every one of them. 2015 is going to be very, very exciting. Uh, we'll be celebrating our fifth year uh, coming up in September in 2015. So we'll have a lot of cool, exciting new stuff and an early uh, 2015, we're going to have our first ever Red Carpet Awards. You have the Oscars, you have the Golden Globe, the Screen Actor Guilds Awards. We're bringing our award show to fruition. It's called the Red Carpet Awards, and we'll have more details about that coming up in uh, early January. Our next show will feature Toby Spencer and uh, Sabrina J. It'll be on January 10th, and it's an all-musical show. We'll be doing Brigadoon, All That Jazz, and Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Our first show of 2015, January 10th at uh, 6 p.m. For Laura, for Chris, and Sabrina, we are the Screen Team on today's Talk 930 KWOC.